Before we begin today's video, I want to share once again with you a killer fragrance brand called Dossier. And like I said in the past, fragrances have been tough for me with my allergies and things, but I have found a few that I've become very fond of. Of course, the only issue after that is they happen to be extremely expensive, way more than really I can afford, which is where Dossier comes in. They are a company that offers fragrances that are inspired by iconic and popular perfumes, but at a much more reasonable price. And I'm not talking about some cheap reproduction fragrance oils. I'm talking about professionally made fragrances that are honestly sourced clean and cruelty free and dedicated to craftsmanship. This time around, I chose to look at two that are inspired by Creed Silver Mountain Water and Straight to Heaven by Killian. And in regards to the Creed one, which is super popular, I can tell you it smells virtually identical to the original. It's insane. I mean, it smells so similar. And the best part was both of these together were hundreds less than one bottle of the original brand fragrance. And again, they smell virtually, if not exactly the same. If you're interested in checking these out for yourself, there will be a link in the description there and a coupon code that can save you even more money on your next bottle. I do also want to extend a big thanks to Dossier for sending these out for me. And if you're in the market for a high quality fragrance at a decent price, I highly recommend you check them out. Now though, on to today's episode. What is happening guys, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at another product from the King Brown Pomade lineup. This one was specifically requested by one of you viewers and I'm very excited to bring it across my desk today in this all new MMTV review. All right, once again, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. Go ahead, take a quick second and hit that subscribe button for me. And I do appreciate y'all coming over to check out this product with me. Today, we are looking at the King Brown Paste Pomade. And according to the brand, this is a water-based pomade that offers a heavy hold for folks who kind of want to set it and forget it function for their hairstyle. It also features a neutral shine, an easy washout with heat and humidity resistance. The brand also reports that it sports a custom bay rum scent and it sells for $20 US for two. 2.5 ounces. Looking inside the jar here, this one is quite soft at first glance and first touch too actually. It comes out of the tin with no effort. It's very pasty, almost lotion-y, but just like a tad above that level consistency wise. But it does break down in the hand with no effort at all, with some very dominant slickness being present. But as it does break down in the hand, some tack does begin to present itself as well. Moving straight along into the demo here, I am going to be using this on my usual dry clean hair. No additional products added, just the pomade in my dry hair. And as I add in the first scoop, that kale and clay really comes out in the form of dryness and that tack you might actually be able to see it in my hair you can see it's overall spreading just fine but there's some flyaways going on there especially in the front and for me that only happens when you get something that's dry and tacky the hold is definitely there too it's controlling the hair nicely and combing is overall not bad either I did find that the dryness does impede the comb just a little bit but overall it plays nicely in the overall look and the volume that I'm able to build I think it does provide a nice balance between between how slick it is and how much tack and hold is actually present in the formula. Here now is the final style four hours into the day. We can see the finish has lifted to more of a matte clay finish, so the dryness has remained, which is what makes it feel like a clay or a matte paste. The hold is still present there, but it's softening up a little bit as we go throughout the day. Moving straight into eight hours here, we can see it's pretty much the same finish wise, but we do have some more of that loosening up and more of that movement. It seems to me that it's just become more natural as time is progress throughout the day, which has really solidified those findings for me on what I see with this pomade and who I think it'll really serve well. More on that, of course, in a second. But now let's talk scent. For this one, it says it has a custom bay rum scent, but it doesn't really smell like any bay rum that I've ever used. Not That's not to say this isn't a good scent. I actually really like the scent on this one. It's a smooth cologne that's really not turned up too loud for me. It reminds me a lot of Silver Mountain Water, actually, which is one scent that I absolutely love. Love. Moving straight into the washout now, though, this is really easy to describe. It's a quick, easy water rinse. You can feel it just come right out your hands. It, it rinses right off. It's super easy. No problems there. Bringing everything together now, though, after testing all 
all of this out. My final verdict is I do think that this one fits nicely into the lineup of products with the King Brown lineup. We kind of start to see the entire line as a whole begin to appear with this product along with the other ones that we've seen. We, we kind of start to see how well-rounded the line is now, meaning we can see the pomades that are slick and have some shine to it, but now we have one that's dry and tacky to not only show difference, but that this line can cater to other goals and types of hair, which does bring me to the immediate thought that I have on this one specifically, which is that it will obviously work for thicker hair like mine. But based on what I see here, I think fine or thin hair would really love this because it's got that dry and tack, that stickiness, and it works really well, but it doesn't coat the hair and completely take over, meaning it won't weigh that hair down. Criticism for me on this one is definitely the styling ability and presentable hold. I do think it was a bit dry for sure too, and I do think that that dryness prevented the hold from really coming out on the level that they intended. Again, it prevents the hair from being fully coated, and I think that stopped the hold from just taking full position. Therefore, in my hair, I don't think that I could really call this a full heavy. I would put it at more of a lighter end firm, for sure, and I think that could be amplified with shorter hair or even finer hair types. As usual, though, the final verdict is up to you, and if you think this might be a product you would want to check out, you can find a link to the King Brown shop in the description. And as a reminder, they did just open a special USA shop, too, so check that out if you are in the USA, you can save some money from the usual shipping location of Australia. I will also be back soon with another product from this brand as I continue my goal of giving you a look at their entire line. If you enjoyed what you saw here today though, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and drop me a like and a comment, that's a huge help. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel today and checking out this product with me. Take it easy, I'll see you next time.